So here's a good way to get a stark contrast to your simple sketch renderings, good for comic books or anything where you want a high contrast underlay. Let's see how this works. Let's go into sketch style. Let's grab the light RR. Let's find a good angle, maybe here. Let's change this to 20, 10, something light. Scroll down here. Background is zero. I don't have black, but we still have grayscale in here. So let's check this material out. And I'm going to delete this. Shift A, I'm going to add a shader, which is a diffuse. Just a diffuse. And I'm going to make sure that's 100% white. And then Shift A, add shader to RGB. Shader to RGB right there. So we're going to grab this. Let's hook some of this. And then we're going to have a Shift A, and we're going to do a converter color ramp. And we'll put that in here. And this goes like this, and this goes like this. So now we still have the, the same issue, but take this and let's go to constant. Let's pull this over so you can see how I'm moving the shader around a little bit here by using this. Now, if I want everything to be a different color, I can just come over here, click on here, and whatever value I want to set, I can do that right in this area right here. So that this gives us that, that color area. So let's go 15 here, make this black and F12. And there's our sharp contrast that we're talking about. One other thing I might mention is you probably also want to go through the line color and make sure that we're set to black here, which we weren't. But now if we do that again there, see now perfect sh sharp contrast. Now you can use this as an alpha channel or whatever. Also, if you're trying to composite stuff. Okay, one other thing I want to uh, share with you here is that we can add another threshold uh, color. So let's do something like this. As you can see, I can move this down and you're starting to see this gray color popping. So that's another thing that, that you can do if you want to add an extra level of shader. Let's say you want to save this material. You can open up this assets.blend file, which was inside your add-on folder, right? So just open that up. And if you go down here to the sketch style right here, you can make the same changes here, save it. And that way, every time you show up here, it'll automatically show the new material here. So that's a way that you can save that preset and have it show up as part of this. So hopefully that helps.